I feel like we're already get we're, we're still getting a bit too much of the like kind of actual vocal coming through um, for what I'm trying to achieve right now. So um, let's just have a little look in at this spectral resonator, which is one of the new plugins in eleven. Um, this is quite a cool thing, uh, really. Now, obviously, they had resonators in already, um, which it was a lot of fun for like sound design purposes. Um, but you kind of had to set the pitches to like where you wanted, and then they were they're fairly static. Now, there's there's quite a cool thing that you can kind of do in the spectral resonator, which is um, you can actually set it to follow like a MIDI input. If you turn it to MIDI here now, that's quite cool because all of a sudden you have a bit more control over what the pitches are. Um, so what we need to do is just create a new MIDI channel. Um, and I'm going to set this to in. So just so that we're definitely receiving MIDI from our uh, keyboard without having to have this record armed. It's just receiving MIDI all the time. You can see that if I press a few keys. Um, so now I'm going to choose MIDI from here. I'm going to go this channel for MIDI and uh, we should be able to pitch it a little bit. So. Cool. So all of a sudden we've got, it's almost like a vocoder type of effects actually, um, which is really cool. Um, now I'm going to just kind of mess with a few parameters and, and see if we can kind of make it a bit more spacious, I suppose. So decay going up will be a good thing. Cool. Um, let's do a little bit of damping. And maybe add a little chorus to it as well. Okay, so now if I Let's turn this back on again. Hmm, yeah, we're starting to get some really cool sounds out of that now. Yeah, very cool. Now we don't necessarily have to stop there. We could we could add a reverb on the back of it as well. Um, and this is the new hybrid reverb uh, in Ableton 11, which is basically a combination of um, kind of like their original reverb um, sort of algorithm, the basic Ableton reverb, and their convolution reverb, which was like a Max for Live um, plugin, which they've had for a couple of versions now, I think. I think since nine, maybe. Um, so it's it's pretty powerful actually because you essentially have kind of two reverbs in one. Um, you've got your um, sort of plate style, and then you've got a more like convolution style, um, and and you can get some pretty sort of mega results out of this really. So I'm just going to turn up um, turn up the mix for now, just so that we can kind of hear just what the reverb's doing. So and I'm going to leave, yeah. No, I'm going to leave those turned on, actually, just so we can get a real full picture of the sound. Yeah, it's sounding quite cool already. Now... If we kind of want to get into a little bit more of the specifics of what's going on here, we can pick from our, we pick what convolution we're using from from this side here, which is convolution IR. Um, now, I feel like for this, we're probably going to want something like maybe from the bigger spaces or textures folder. Um, so let's maybe have a little bit of a look and let's try this jet wash blanket. Here we go. Um, now. That's sort of controlled by everything that's in yellow here. So you can see you've got attack, decay, size. I mean, it's 20 second decay. It's very, very long. Uh, let's maybe just pull that back a bit. Um, and then on the everything in the blue, that's controlling the more kind of uh, like 
plate algorithm for want of a better word um sort of algorithmic like uh reverb um they're not all plates uh but yeah you have a few different options here of what the algorithm is so you have dark hall um which will be more of a classic kind of reverb sound but then things like shimmers and, and prism are, are quite a bit different so let's just maybe go for a shimmer here um and maybe set that to be kind of a little bit longer um, we can turn the shimmer up as well. Let's 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 hear how this kind of sounds. You can really hear the shimmer there, just adding that those extra kind of high notes, those almost like octaves above. Okay, so let's just try the whole thing together and, and see how it's kind of sounding. Great, so I think that's sounding pretty cool already. So that's kind of almost something that I would I would record, um, kind of as is, because we haven't got that many plugins in, but we managed to totally kind of mutate this sound into something else uh, completely.